Why do we like rear drive cars? Driving enthusiasts might say it's because of their inherent balance. The front wheels of front drive cars are taxed with responsibility, while all wheel drive can add extra weight and mechanical complexity. On the philosophical level, there's just something more pure and true to form in a rear drive vehicle. But numerous factors add production costs, which is why they don't often come cheap. Lucky for us, Mazda, Hyundai, and now Subaru have prevailed against the odds to provide us with three genuine sports cars at under 30,000 apiece. Mazda's MX-5 Miata has enjoyed great success with its Jimba Itai approach, rider and horse as one. Since 1989, few cars have embodied the spirit of lightweight, affordable rear-drive motoring better than the Miata. The third-generation NC Miata is still a featherweight by modern-day standards, and comes powered by a racy 2-liter inline-four, and in our case, an excellent 6-speed manual transmission. Although the Grand Touring model provides some modern creature comforts, the Miata's cozy seating position and noisier cabin doesn't lend itself to long stints on the highway. Its forte instead is where the road never straightens, which is when we appreciate it most. The close gear ratios make good use of the available torque with steering that is light, precise, and communicative. The brakes offer plenty of stopping power with a high level of resolution. What the Miata lacks, however, becomes more readily apparent once driven with purpose against the other cars in this group. In stock form, the suspension is soft, and the seats don't have enough bolstering. And even as a lightweight, this amounts to seemingly endless body roll that begets outer tire wear. That said, there is never a dull moment in the saddle, with the sensation of speed you get from a wonderful engine note and a chassis that wires you to the road. Our first experience with the Hyundai Genesis Coupe back in 2008 was lackluster due to its weak turbo engine and excessive drivetrain lash. Fast forward to today, and the updated 2013 model flaunts a fresh new look, a ton more power, and a very attractive price tag. Being the largest fish in the pond has its pros and cons. For one, the spacious front cabin rides on a long wheelbase that's conducive to a supple ride. The rear seats are still too small for adults, but that only further extends its clear lead in cargo room. On the track, the Genesis Coupe shows us what brute force can accomplish with power and tire grip. Even with a lack of throttle response, mainly from turbo lag, the Genesis was fastest by over two seconds a lap. There's more understeer than we'd like, but on fast sweeping corners, this leaves a margin of safety that instills confidence. The gaping hole in the Genesis's game, however, is its lack of precision. Where the Miata and BRZ feel like fine instruments, the Genesis feels like a ball peen hammer. It's a great tool for pounding out fast lap times, but the rubbery gearbox and muted steering feel leave something to be desired. Back in 2009, Subaru and Toyota set out to create a car that would set a new standard in the affordable rear drive segment. Here in 2012, they've done it. Subaru's new BRZ in stock form will not win you many drag races, nor will it likely be the fastest thing around a racetrack. The intent was a lightweight car with a great chassis and the lowest achievable center of gravity, which adds up to something worth driving for the sake of driving. The base model comes pretty well equipped, but what we value most is the excellent driving position, huge center-mounted tack, and the sublimely bolstered seats. Out on track, the BRZ's greatest strength is its balance. The steering is very quick and responsive, and its gearbox delivers solid shifts. It's a car that communicates really well, which makes it easy to drive hard, though you may find that the tires lack some bite. Subaru says this was on purpose, as they wanted enough grip to be predictable without sacrificing longevity. And even though we feel this car could benefit from extra grunt, the balance with the 200 horsepower flat four is plenty to have fun with all day long. In a rare event, there were no losers in this test. After all the points were added and averaged, the Miata and Genesis, though vastly different cars in character, tied for second place. The BRZ, however, is the clear winner, as it swept eight of 12 categories in our subjective ratings. And when you think about it, the pleasure of driving should be the most important thing for any rear drive car.